getting to know you you guys know the drill we're back at it again with our getting to know you series and today we're going to get to know mr conti our new seventh grade social studies teacher so mr conti tell us about yourself uh, this is my first year here at North Point and my first year teaching. Uh, I teach global studies as well as speech and debate here and I'm very excited to be here. So since it's your first year, how's it going? It's going pretty well. It's definitely an adjustment when we have to start online and things like that and we've got to you know, maintain social distancing. We're all having to deal with having to talk in masks all the time, but I'd say so far it's pretty good. Students have been really well adaptive and I'm learning to adapt as well. That's good, you're thinking positive about all this. Uh, so what did you do before you started teaching? So I had a couple jobs before I started teaching. Um, I worked for 10 years for the city of Phoenix uh, through their after school program in, um, in it's called PAC. Um, it was basically after school kind of daycare type stuff, took care of the kids until their parents came in, uh, picked them up and then over the summer, I worked at the city of Phoenix pools. Uh, worked all over, the, all over the city, worked there for 10 years, and that was a lot of fun and learned a lot of stuff that I can transfer into teaching, so. So you already have experience with like kids and mm -hmm. being around. All right, that's cool. So tell us about some of your hobbies. So some of my hobbies I would say include, um, I do love to play video games. I love talking about video games. I've got a video game tattoo. Um, I love hanging out with my dog. He's cute. He's only got one eye, so he's a little funky sometimes, but I do love taking him on walks. Um, I love archery. I've got a bow and arrow that I go out and shoot. Helps me relax and calm down. And I love to listen to music. That's all really good hobbies, and I'm sure a lot of uh, students can relate with the video game. So what's your favorite video game? Uh, my favorite video game is a video game called Bloodborne, um, but a second close favorite is Overwatch. Oh, wow. I'm not familiar <laughs> with video games, but I'm sure you guys probably know some. Also, we did hear that you have a lot of random useless facts that... Yeah, yeah I got a pretty good amount of useless facts. Did you that... know that I know a bunch of useless facts as well? I Zoe. Know, I know about that. Are you challenging me to a useless fact competition? I think I should... I Zoe, think go ahead. I am. All right, you go first. Okay, did you know that snakes can feel an earthquake from 75 miles away and five days before it happened? Well, that is definitely interesting. Did you know, botanically speaking, the banana is a member of the herb family? That is an interesting fact about bananas. Did you know that bees can fly higher than Mount Everest? I did not know that. Did you know chickens can't fly higher than three feet? I did not know that. Did you know that goats have accents? I did not, but did you also know that goats sometimes faint when you startle them and they can stay in that position for up to 10 minutes before they get back to under control? I did not know that. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. I'm sure you guys probably learned some random facts from these two. So, Mr. Conti was so good to get to know you. If you guys see him around, you know the drill. Say hi, make him feel welcome. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, April. So some of you newer students may not know this, but we have an amazing school counselor who is super sweet, super easy to talk to, and all around amazing person. So let's welcome in Mrs. Weaver. Yay! Hey. <laughs> you can sit here. Oh, thank you. So, how is life? Um, you know, it's good, crazy with all this nonsense going on, but I couldn't complain. I agree with that. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. School, school. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do here at North Point? Um, well, I'm the counselor. So that means if you have any like anxiety or you're feeling some stress, you can always talk to me, vent to me. If you have any questions regarding anything, you can always contact me. How can the students contact you if they need that help? Um, so I have an email address. It's eweaver at pointschool.org. It's on the website too. Um, I also have a cell phone that we can text through or call if you want to talk or we can do a Zoom meeting. So she has many options, guys. So don't be afraid to reach out to her. <laughs> her that's why she's here. So what suggestions do you have to everyone going through this hard time right now? Um, well, you're in front of the screen all the time and it just gets monotonous every single day. You're just staring at a computer screen. So take a break, go outside, ride a bike, run around, do some cartwheels, I don't know. Just get some fresh air in your system um, and maybe do some meditation. That is something I definitely need to do because while being at home and doing school on my couch is comfortable, it's not what I want. I definitely do miss my friends, but going outside, getting a break, 
it's probably good for me mm -hmm. and for everybody else so make sure you guys are doing that thank you so much for joining us and that's all we have for you guys so make sure you're checking your email and our social media why because we're always on air online and on you